Oh. And you got me and Sanchez there, dude. We're fucking shit. Yeah, I'd like to see him try. Yeah, right. I wish a motherfucker would try to yep. steal. All right, are. Elliot. Well, thank you. Let's move on from here. I we've we've heard Elliot trials and tribulations. Now it's time to <laughs> move on to Buckles' trials and tribulations. I've been gone. You've been. We have. So um, we haven't been together on the show. <laughs> yeah, I know. We haven't butt fucked on the show since uh, butt fucked. Uh, it's been almost a, is a month now. Uh, yeah, at least it's a month. way too long. Yeah. Okay. You've been to Vegas. You were, you were in Alaska. You were. We've had. No, I didn't go to Alaska. <laughs> you went to Alaska. <laughs> You've been flying around everywhere. I went some places. You see my shirt? Very cool. It's a Ric Flair, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, son of a gun. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm yeah. having a hard time keeping these alligators down. Um, that, that's me right now. That's you. And all I got to say is haters going to hate. Haters going to hate. Okay. All right. So we got tons of shit. Obviously, the uh, one we need to play catch up, bring us up to this weekend because this yep. weekend was a crazy weekend. <laughs> because the I'm, tough show was filmed in the, since last we talked. The whole thing was filmed. Six weeks of filming. Yeah. So we need to get into that. Yeah. Then uh, we need to. And then UFC we need to, 209. We need to get into NorCal. that. NorCal. Represented hard. We need to show what happened with, with Elkins and, and Cynthia and, yep. and all the other antics that went on. They released a tough preview. They released a tough preview. Uh, featuring TJ Dillashaw getting choked up Woo! by Cody Garbrandt. Whoa. This is this is this is this is this is crazy. Alright. Um didn't we get trouble for can we put this on? Or? This is their commercial though. I think they want to play this as much as I don't possible. who knows what they want. Seconds. It's what? It's fifteen seconds. It's only 15 seconds? Okay. So, um, Okay, so this is a tough one. We're going to start talking about tough? Yeah. I'll tell you this. What? That was the first day I showed up. Okay. After 12 years of epic battles and future world champions. He did it the hard way. The toughest competition in sports marches on. What just happened there? Ah, uh, smell. Here we go. <laughs> now, get ready for us. Is that Joe Stevenson? Yep, Seth Bazinski, James Krause, Jesse Taylor, JT Money. Money. FS1, beginning Wednesday, Australia. April 9th. Julian Lane. 14 warriors from past seasons return to the UFC training center. Each of them looking for a shot at redemption. Medi Baghdad. The coaches, bantamweight champion Cody Garbrandt. And former champion TJ Dillashaw. What? Cody's just such a hothead, arrogant ass. You're so tough. TJ's a dickhead. Come on. <laughs> For the ultimate fighter. Oh, you, Ooh. Your, you were there. Wednesday. Yeah. Can you give us some dirt on that? What I'll, happened? I'll tell you this right now. That was the first day I showed up, so I missed the first week. Yeah. Because we had just fought, uh, just won the belt, you know? Yeah. It was, uh, I was out of the gym for a week for Cody's fight week. Uh -huh. The entire week, you know? I, I've been trying to leave, like, later in the week, like, on a Thursday after our sparring day. Yeah. But I was gone that whole week, so I had to get back to the gym. And, <clears throat> you know, I didn't realize, like, it's just, a, at the end of the day, it's a reality show. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like... I'm out there to support Cody, uh -huh. support Team Alpha Male, you know, train Cody, uh, and then do our thing with the guys. But it's, it's just a reality show trying to build Cody versus TJ. Uh -huh. So I was gone the first week. The first week they picked teams. So when I got there, the teams were already set. So you didn't get to put your two cents in on who to pick? No, at, not at all. Okay. So I had I didn't even know. I discovered the team when I landed. Okay. You know what I mean? Like sure. Like our team. So, you know. I was stoked on the guys. I, you know, I know all like most of these guys. If I don't uh -huh. know them personally, I know like, you know, yeah. their careers and whatnot. They've all fought in the UFC. Uh, and the first day I got there, uh, I guess nothing really happened the first week that was very confrontational. You know, well, between Cody and TJ and, TJ and the okay. teams and whatnot. They kind of looked at each other and like nothing really yeah. went down. Nothing too aggressive. But so I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna go there and play it by ear. Yeah. And I was thinking like, you know. I wonder how it's going to be, you know, because the history of TJ and Dwayne and whatnot. It's definitely had to be awkward. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was wondering how it was going to be because I'd missed the first set and week. Uh -huh. So I was just kind of thinking of that. I go there. 
Uh, and you know where they line up in the area where McGregor and Faber always talk shit to each other? It, like The two so, coaches line up and the teams are gathered around them and, that's like, and they open the door. Yeah, right in the, that little hallway between like, it seems like the locker rooms, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's like the first, it's like the first one of those. Uh-huh. And, uh, oh wait, I don't think I can give dates on this. But first day I was there, that shit happened. First day you were there? First day I was there, fucking, that preview happened. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, so I was like, okay, it's fucking on. Like, <laughs> and you, uh, but, uh, and then, so why did that happen? Can you give us any insight on it? I that? can't do that. You can't get that? No. Can I, can I, um, <laughs> uh, can I guess? Yeah, you, okay. So what, I, I signed a non disclosure agreement yeah. where I can't say, like, so like on our social media, you'll see me like, like I'll I'll uh, do like a snap of Cody at a fight pick. It says Garbrandt on his jersey, and then the scale in front. But yeah. I can't reveal anything else. You know, I could take pictures of stuff on the set. Sure. But if stuff is modified or people who are on the team, I don't think the teams uh have been announced. Oh shit! I had a signed uh I had a signed jersey, but I forgot it in the gym. You have it though. From the huh? You're gonna bring it in here? Yeah, and hang it up. Right. You don't. It's not lost, though, right? No, no, it's just at the gym. Okay. But uh, what was I talking about? You were talking about... Oh, um, you can't post this kind of stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like uh, certain things. So you things. can't say why they got No, I can't it. say why, but I can not I can't say that was the first day I showed up and that there was not... Really, that was the first... So first, are you the cause of that? I don't know. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I showed up and then it went down like that and then it was on. Like, Damn. From then on, it was like, oh, shit, it's fucking going on. It's like, it's like wow. You, then you start realizing things like... You know, and you're like, you haven't seen this guy like Dwayne who's posted like the, or said the stuff, you know, about all of our teams yeah. and that Saying none of us want to be champions. Yeah, like, like that, yeah. and, and that was like so fucked up. And like, I remember Lance and Cody both like fired on him on Twitter. Well, Lance was our, at the time the champion of the, uh, of the yeah, WC. Uh, it's like, come on, dude. He's been a champion the, the his whole life. Fighting. Like, yeah, uh, just a crazy thing to say. And, and you start thinking about stuff like that and not responding to the media. And then you see the guy right in front of you. Yeah. And it's like wow, like this, this is this is very interesting. And then, uh, what do you, how, can you talk about how your guys' interactions went, or no? My interaction? Yeah, you probably should. with who? With Dwayne. I you mean, probably can't. Well, let's wait. Let's ask. Let's the. Uh, let I mean, the, I can tell you interactions after certain days of filming. Yeah. I'm going to the airport, and yeah. I run into Dwayne, and oh, it's like, what happened? At, well, after the filming, yeah. the fact that we run into each other at the airport, it was ridiculous. And what did he say? He said, "Oh man, you know, uh, I love you guys, and I say still he still goes and I say with stupid that? shit, and uh, I didn't mean to say that stuff about everybody." Yeah. And he goes, "You're killing it out there," and uh, that's what he said at the airport. Uh, and what'd you say? I said, "Man, like, how do, how do you expect things to 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 be between us when you when I got thirty guys back in Sacramento, you know, ready to whoop your ass, like, yeah, for stuff you've said, you know, uh -huh. I, and I was saying stuff like that, but uh, and then we." like part ways uh -huh. but you know there's yeah, just some things you just can't some, unsay yeah it's just like dude come on man like you should be like i mean i mean whatever about the loyalty like the loyalty thing is you know what people, is loyalty that's yeah, what i'm saying i was just gonna say that people can misconstrue loyalty and say loyalty to this you're loyal to this guy you're not loyal to this guy yeah. you know uh but you know it's about respect man and and you weren't on the map before team alpha male and you got to hold it in, involved in team alpha male and together blew you up and made you coach of the year and made your name and you come yeah. back and you say this stuff about the team that did that for you yeah. it's like dude there's a lot of anger and a lot, a lot of animosity it just on my part just not talking and then when you see the guy right in front of you yeah. and you see cody and tj who are not gonna interact uh, well you have a guy that came in and and he he stole your he came in in a system <laughs> that was already working very well what you had a a huge part in help creating um yeah we all did it was we a, all did and you and you particularly i mean you you've always been a staple particularly in everybody's corner that that's for sure and you also ran practices and stuff so Dwayne comes in okay gobbles up all the credit for himself okay he tries to pretend that he 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 turned this team or turned this team into whatever He's dead. Yeah, when he caught us on an upward, upward yeah. arc already. Chad Mendez had two first round knockouts when Dwayne came to camp, yeah. and then then I would see a Dwayne Ludwig highlight video, and it'd be those two knockouts. And yeah. I was like, he wasn't even there for those knockouts. Yeah. And then you got Joe Rogan saying Dwayne Ludwig is like you know, and they just blow him up well, beyond belief. I, I, like I I look at the world through data. 
Okay. So yeah. what does the data tell me? And that's how I construct my narrative. Okay. Yeah. I don't look at my feelings instructed. Okay. So I see team alpha male. You have prior to Dwayne, uh, Faber's world champion, uh, how many world title shot? How many world title fights? You had top two, top three. Joseph, uh, Chad, uh, Danny Castillo. All these guys, you know, top, top, top guy fighters. Okay, so Dwayne, prior to Dwayne. Okay, Dwayne comes in. Status quo, you know. I mean, you know, he he has some good technique. I mean, we had already challenged for the belt with Joseph, Chad, yeah. Faber. Before, and, 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 and Faber was, was the number world. one guy at 145 for yeah. years and years. Just yeah. It just happens that the UFC wasn't involved at 145 at the time. If but then was, when Dwayne showed up, we kept challenging for the belt, kept which challenging is business for the belt. as usual. Okay, so Dwayne leaves, okay? Tradition continues, even gets stronger once you take over. Yeah, well, okay? now we've had our best year. Like Now, the question is, who else has Dwayne... Um, uh, mentored or 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 um, immatuated throughout their career. That's the question because the only the only guys I see is Team Alpha Male guys. I don't know. Well, Joe went and trained with him. Team Alpha Male guys. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, you can go and take some guys from our team, but you have Team Alpha Male, okay, yeah. spitting out fucking savage world champions. Then you have Dwayne comes here. Pretending to be the best coach of all time, then he leaves. Okay, then Team Alpha Male continues to go on, spitting out world champions.